Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the charging speed test in the POCO F3 GT device while using the 120 watts fast charging. So these are the most requested question friends in my channel nowadays. I'm getting for the past few hours, I'm getting I think close to 20 to 30 comments only on this one topic. So will this 120 watts charger will be able to charge this POCO F3 GT faster or not? So just yesterday only I did do the demonstration uh, just to check whether it's kind of supporting or not but actually it's, it was able to support properly and it was able to charge faster as well. That's the reason friends a lot of users got uh, really interested to know and this is a playlist which I created for the Xiaomi 11 you can check out the playlist for more details. Now in this video let's start with the charging test completely from the one percentage. Right now all the apps are completely clear from the background and right now the battery percentage is exactly one percentage. Let's do the charging test from the one percentage. And during this time, I'll try to record the battery percentage for every uh, 15 minutes, 30 minutes and 50 percentage and 100 percentage how much time it actually takes to fill. In this way, we can actually compare before results versus right now results. So now let me to use that 120 watts charger. Same cable, same charger which came uh, with the box I'm trying to use. Let's start the charging test. Here we go. As soon as I see the animation, I'll try to start the stopwatch. Stopwatch has been started successfully. And look at the temperatures right now. It's of 27.6 uh, degrees Celsius in the beginning. 27.4. As you can see clearly with the temperatures, what's happening. And inside the settings, let me show you the temperatures. It's about 27 degrees Celsius. So overall, it's kind of 27 degrees Celsius right now in the POCO F3 GT device. So I'm going to be back after uh, 15 minutes of time, friends. Just to check how much faster the POCO F3 GT can actually charge within this 15 minutes of time. And this is a charging uh, meter application which did show. So 11,000 milliampere is the highest score uh, showed in this POCO F3 GT. As you can see in the beginning of starting the test. I can be back after 15 minutes of time. Let's see how much the phone will be able to charge. If you want to know more details about the other uh, charging times of the POCO F3 GT, just type in the YouTube POCO F3 GT charging test site. Just type similarly friends in the search bar and you can actually find all my videos which I did upload on the POCO F3 GT in terms of the charging speed, how, how fast the phone actually got charged. As you can see, try to watch my videos and you'll be able to understand exactly what is the overall charging speed as well in this device. And in case if you like my videos and if you want to contribute uh, for my channel for the development and definitely friends any kind of contribution is really helpful to my UPI ID and my phone number which is phone pay and Paytm you can actually do that any amount of money that will be really great and these are the recent contributors which uh, did send some don donations uh, to my UPI ID and the phone number as well that's really great friends thank you for you all the main reason is because since I don't get any kind of review units I need to uh, buy all the smartphones that might be the reason friends why it's i cannot buy most of the devices so any kind of contribution will be really helpful for me i will be back after 15 minutes of time so right now as you can see when we're reaching exactly 15 minutes of time charging continuously the poco f3 gt and phone did reach up to 51 percentage around 14 minutes of time the phone reached to 50 percentage so right now the temperature is up 41 degrees celsius and exactly around 14 minutes friends the phone reached to 50 50 percentage as well and right now around 15 minutes exactly I'll try to check the battery percentage how much it got charge using this kind of uh, 120 watts not bad so usually it charges around 46 minute 46 percentage but right now in 15 minutes it charged to 52 percentage 52 percentage got charge in 15 minutes of time and the temperature is about 41 degrees Celsius not bad 41 degree Celsius in 15 minutes friends and I can be back after 30 minutes so usually in the 15 minutes the POCO F3 GT charges around 46 percentage and uh, somewhere around that 46 and 47 but right now little bit got of increased little bit just only little bit not a huge difference I would say but let's see will this speed maintain consistent throughout this uh, charging or not that's what I'm going to check I can be back after 30 minutes of time let's see in the 30 minutes how quick the phone will be able to charge and Temperature outside is about 35.8 degrees Celsius. On the back side, 35, 35.2. Using the thermometer, we're getting about 35 degrees Celsius regarding the temperatures. And I'm gonna be back after 30 minutes of time. So right now, as you can see, it's been exactly 30 minutes continuously charging the POCO F3 GT using this 120 watts fast charger. Let me show you the how much the battery got charged. Right now, it got charged up to 87 percentage. As you can see, friends, clearly using the 120 watts. I think definitely friends it's not that supporting the 120 watts in terms of charging speed so it showed about uh, 40 degrees celsius regarding the temperatures and 
80 87 percent of the charging got charged battery got charged and uh, let me try to use this ampere application to demonstrate what's happening i think right now it's about 88 percentage so i'll try to write down the 88 percentage and the battery temperature inside the settings application is about 40 degrees celsius and outside is showing about 35.4 degrees celsius So in first 30 minutes friends, this is a charging test in the POCO F3 GT. So 88% is got charged. I don't think it's 120 watts anyway kind of supporting in the POCO F3 GT. Even though it seems to be kind of supporting like charging quite faster. But later on because of this mechanism which uh, doesn't allow to charge faster in the POCO F3 GT. That's what I did see. So usually as I said the 50 percentage uh, will be reaching around in the 16 minutes of time 16 17 minutes so in this in the in the beginning it got really fast charged because it got charged only in 14 minutes that's very fast so let's see what's going to happen right now we got the green color indication right now it, it did reach up to 91 9 sorry 90 percentage exactly 90 percentage in 30 minutes of time 31 minutes of time i'm going to be back friends when the phone gets close to 99 percentage so right now as you can see friends, it's been 40 minutes of continuously charging the POCO F3 GT and the phone did charge up to 99% exactly 40 minutes of time. Let me show you the charging as you can see 19% and the temperature did reach up to 35 degrees Celsius. So 40 minutes of time the phone did take to reach 99%. So I can be back friends when the phone gets close to 100% exactly. So usually this last one percentage will take around close to I think uh, 3 minutes, 2 to 3 minutes somewhere around that kind of time. But Let's see whether this 120 watts charger will be helping to speed up the process or not at the end. That's what I'm going to demonstrate. So right now still I think it's 99 percentage only still. I'll have to keep on checking friends for every maybe 30 seconds. Right now it's been 42 minutes of time and still the phone is about 99 percentage only friends. Still it did not charge 200 percentage clearly. Let me show you exact 99 percentage 42 minutes of time. So even though if you try to use a 120 watts charger as well, but still the POCO F3 will not be able to charge faster. And 43 minutes and still it's showing the 99 percentage only. So final friends, around 44 minutes of time, the phone completely charged to 100 percentage exactly. As you can see, even with using 120 watts charger as well in the POCO F3 GT, in the beginning the phone was able to charge pretty fast. Yes, I did notice till I think 60 percentage was able to reach very faster. In just, I think 60% reached about close to 17 minutes of time as well. That's very fast. But later, the phone got very slow because of the fast charging uh, prevention mechanism. Maybe that might be there in the phones. So that, that's the reason why we did see slowly charged in the POCO F3 GT. So overall, the time taken to charge the POCO F3 GT using 120 watts fast charger is 44 minutes of time. 44 Minutes. You can clearly see friends, the first 50 percentage got charged in 14 minutes only, but later 50 percentage took a lot of time. So a lot of time that's kind of close to 30 minutes I think. 30 minutes it took to charge next 50 percentage. And about the temperatures, final temperatures are kind of uh, 31.6, 31, 32, 32. So 32 degrees are the final temperatures in this device overall after the end of the results. And these are the 34 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile signing off friends, thank you for watching and stay tuned. Bye.